this game leak on Steam. You guys know what it's time to do. We gotta get the summoning circle. Don't forget your collector's edition of Royal, your copy of Arena soundtrack, uh, your $85 copy of Persona 3 you bought while you were on vacation with your friends. Uh, Vita, that of course has Persona 3 Portable running. Uh, probably. Yeah, it's still running. Okay, we're good. You can go away now. And then you gotta have the Steam cards so that that they know it's Steam. Also, the Koromoro plush that is $40 and it was supposed to be bigger. I thought it was bigger. It was not bigger. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Holy shit, it's Jeff! And here we go! Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the wide, wide world of video games. Warfare changed everything. No, it really on didn't. October 28th, we usher in a new era of Call of Duty with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. You did that already. Back, we are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team. Price. You, you guys already did so, Modern Warfare 2. Th this was a while ago. We needed a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty in a whole new way. What do you mean new? This is this is it's the same name as before. It's literally the same game then. Can they stop showing this damn trailer? No one cares about Call of Duty. They've been talking about Call of Duty for seven minutes. And I haven't seen the N-word used once. This is not Call of Duty. Come on, guys. Get your shit together. A classic PC gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release. I love this game Monkey growing on? up. So I'm honored to share this Monkey Island! 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 Monkey Jeff, what the fuck is this? This is not Monkey Island. Where's Guybrush Threepwood? Where's Glechuck? The zombie pirate. Formerly the ghost pirate. Where's Governor Marley? Where's Murray, the talking skull? Stan from Stan's previously owned ships and Stan's previously owned coffins, huh? Why the fuck is it, Jeff? Genuine question. Thank you. Layers of Fears doesn't roll off the fucking tongue. I'm sorry. I got this, Bruce. Dog, you could have a tombstone to Bruce Wayne. Batman's not fucking dead. He literally cannot be killed. He'll fucking come back every damn time he does it. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. This looks good and all, and I support this. But however, Devolver, I'm gonna have to ask. Where is Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate Trademark? This does not look like him. This looks like a sheep. Now, that's fine and all, but Guybrush is a pirate, not a sheep. I said earlier that there were like three devs that I trusted. Well, three three companies to make games that I actually like. You know, the, the three companies I listed were, uh, were uh, Atlas and Bethesda and Rocksteady. Uh, I think we could throw Devolver on there, because that was a pretty good fucking conference. No Monkey Island, but it was a good conference, so, uh... It's been Holy shit, Pete Hines! What's going to be our biggest year yet. That includes a few of the projects being Pete. developed across Bethesda's eight studios. Pete! Starting with Red Pete, Fall. you don't have any games coming out this year. Earlier in the Pete, show. you guys had, you Red guys Fall's had Ghostwire, and that's on PlayStation. Brain. It's got so much of Listen, I, I, you, I like Bethesda, and I support you guys, Compelling and I'll heroes, buy your games. Open world campaign, I, I, I guess I'll let you talk, but Solo or this isn't your biggest year. You just had Ghostwire, which is a fantastic game. Early next year. So, I mean, I guess if, if you wanted to say it's biggest because that... Into... ...important it is to our fans to continue to bring more Japanese yes. franchises yes. to Xbox. Yes, yes, right, I'm excited right. to announce the return of one of the most highly Wait. requested and beloved franchises to Xbox from our partners 
at Atlas. No fucking way! No! This is real. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't. They put all three of them. The modern games. This is all we needed. I told them. Everyone said, oh, the 25th, not going to be worth it. I told you all. I told you all it was going to be good. And nobody believed me. You all laughed. Who's laughing now? Todd Howard, that's who's laughing. He said it himself, but I'm I'm, I'm laughing too. And this is this is Todd's game. Good on you, Todd. I'm sorry. You just can't top Persona right now. I'm in too good of a mood. But you're still my you're still you guys are still my second favorite dev. So I'm still excited for this. I gotta I gotta give it to you. I, I gotta give it to you, Todd. I, I didn't you you can't it's putting you right after Persona. It's a little unfair, but god damn it, you're an excellent salesman, and that game looks fucking incredible. I, I think I just won. It is my pleasure to present the first look of our latest and most ambitious game mode. The Forgotten Saga. What? Well, what is it? If it's unique, I'm scared to. That years. word "unique" scares me. Oh my! Why are there dragons? What is wrong? Why? Stop bastardizing Assassin's Creed. It's not a fantasy game. Ancient Egypt is a great place to start revisiting and celebrating past Assassin's Creed games. Of course, yeah. Always. My favorite Assassin's Creed memories when the games were good. Join us this September as we unveil the future of Assassin's Creed during a very special event. Oh! What's in store? A tease of what's in the future. Dog, did you guys just do an atlas? Did you announce the announcement? Oh my god. That's hilarious. Uh, I don't need percent on switch. It'd be cool. But I don't need it. Oh my god! It broke free! Oh my god! What's the point of watching the direct now? Thank you.